Uh, Grace created Elvis Cole and also Joe Pike, a pair of Hollywood private detectives that fans have rapidly followed through at least 16 of his novels. Well, today is your lucky day because it's number 17 at hit stores. And Grace brings back Cole and Pike in his latest thriller. It is suspenseful. It is called The Wanted. I have a copy right here next to Robert. It took you nine months to write this, you said, just about. Just about like having a baby. I mean, <laughs> and this really is a baby. It's it already real, successful. It really is a baby. You know, you, you work with it, you feel it grow, and yeah. when it's ready, it's born. And today's birthday, I'm really excited about today. Well, Robert, I had the opportunity to read this book. I was telling you, I could not put it down. It literally lends itself to your imagination. I, I continue to get carried away. Tell me a little bit about it and what uh, readers can expect without giving too much away. Without giving too much away. Uh, you, you know, one of the things that uh, I, I look for in stories are, 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 are ideas that we care about. And, you know, I'm a parent, and anyone who's a parent has children, one of, one of the things that is most important to us is that our children are safe. So in this book, yeah. uh, Devin Connor, single mother, working to make ends meet. She's got this son, teenage boy. He's, uh, you know, he's had his problems, a little, you know, socially awkward, not a lot of friends. Uh, one day, she walks into his bedroom. It's like walking, walking into the ground floor of Neiman's. Yeah. I mean, he's got like $200 shirts in his closet, a $3,000 sport coat. She the even finds Rolex. a $40,000 Rolex hidden away in his room. Teenager, she asks him, I mean, she's appalled. She says, where'd you get this stuff? He lies. She knows he's lying. They always got a story, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, but she's shocked and she's terrified that he's gotten himself involved in something very, very dangerous. You know, he's her son. She thought she knew him and she doesn't. Right. So in order to find out what he's doing and to, and to, and to save him, keep him safe, uh -huh. she goes to the world's greatest detective, Elvis Cole. She calls these detectives, they to put their uh, life on the lines to save her son. So I don't Elvis want to give is, too much more away. But tell me about Elvis and also Joe Pike because they're partners. They have great chemistry in the book. Um, they are not new to your novels. No, I've. Uh, this is my 21st book, but it's my 17th Elvis Cole Joe Pike novel, uh, and I think the books uh, have have achieved the popularity mm -hmm. that they have because Elvis is is really like an all-in guy. You know, he jokingly calls himself yeah. the world's greatest detective. But in, but in point of fact, he's simply someone that will not quit. He keeps going and he keeps pushing ahead for, for his, his clients uh, until he saves them. And that's what he's going to do for, uh, for, for Tyson Connor in this book, we hope. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the other thing. At the end of reading this, I still had a few more questions. I wanted more from some of these characters. Is it possible you're going to bring some of them back in your next couple of I novels? love that. Look I, at that. I'm already putting you to work. I know you are. <laughs> uh, but see, that's what's wonderful for me. You've, when you were reading the book, you got so involved. The characters were so r real to you yes. that, that you want more of them. I mean, that you could not give me a bigger compliment than that. That's what we want to hear. Yeah. Uh, I do do that sometimes. I bring uh -huh. back... Uh, I, I create characters and I bring them back in future books and I think I'm going to do that with a couple of the characters in this book too. Oh, well then I'm looking forward to the next one. Speaking of the next one, tell me about how uh, you started writing. I understand your passion really, or you realized uh, that, you know, writing was your passion when you were just a teenager, 15? Yeah, probably around 15. I, st I actually started uh, submitting short stories when I was a, uh, 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 what, junior high school? How old are you? 13, 14? Uh -huh. uh, getting rejections. But I just love telling stories. I write to entertain. Uh, you know, all writers are readers first, fans of movies, TV. So am I. I mean, I, I yeah. love these things, and I wanted to tell my own story. That's what I try to deliver in the books. And this is the book that actually inspired you, right? We have it on the screen right there for our viewers, The Little Sister. What? Oh, right. yeah, when yeah. I was 15 years old. That's, you, I wish I could see it. I can't see the screen. Yeah. But I, I, when I was 15, secondhand copy of Raymond Chandler's The Little Sister. That was my gateway drug to crime fiction. Oh. And I've loved, the, I've loved the form, the genre ever since. And, uh, uh, you know, now I'm following in the footsteps. And actually, you know, you've been so successful. I mean, some of your books have even gone to the big screen. We got Bruce Willis and Taken in 2005. That was, uh, uh, yeah, I, you know, I write the Elvis Cole books. I write standalone thrillers. Uh, Bruce Willis filmed one of my books called Hostage. Yeah. Uh, I've got a book called Suspect that's under yeah. development with, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, they're all under development. And, uh, uh, hopefully they'll come to the big screen soon. It's exciting. Well, this is a good one, The Wanted. You're going to be busy over the next couple of days. you got a busy New Year as well. You're going yeah. on tour. What's your first stop? 
Uh, first stop from here is San Diego, mm -hmm. and then I sweep across America and then take no prisoners tour. We we're going to be in Houston, where yes. you're from, and then Florida, North Carolina, New York City, St. Louis, Missouri, on and on. I can't remember them all. Gosh, well, best of luck to you. Much success. I know that this is already going to be a big hit. Robert will talk to fans, also sign copies of The Wanted uh, next week. Like he just mentioned, January 3rd, he'll be over at a bookstore in Pasadena. It starts at 7 o'clock. Then January 4th, he'll be at Diesel Bookstore. That's in Santa Monica. That starts at 6.30. And The Wanted is out now. You won't want to put it down. Robert, thanks for coming. Thanks really so much, appreciate it. Yeah.